between humans and dogs, there exists an extraordinary bond that transcends time, language, and species. From the many ordinary experiences of canine companionship emerge accounts of dogs that are heads and indeed tails above the rest. These stories embody the definition of loyalty and leaves us with no doubt that some faithful hounds have genuinely earned the moniker of man's best friend. Dogs such as these have left an indelible mark on the human experience that reminds us sometimes heroes come with wagging tails and paws. Before we begin, I'd like to take a moment to thank this episode's sponsor, Toon Blast. Lately, I've been searching for ways to keep the old grey matter in shape, and a recent study by York University found that digital puzzle games can help memory and concentration. Along with this potential benefit, Toon Blast is a lot of fun. It's a bright and colourful game wherein you match cubes of the same colour to blast away and clear the screen of objects. There are also many challenging mini games and events where you can compete against other players to win prizes. With over 7,000 levels, you don't have to worry about the fun ending too soon. You can download and play Toon Blast for free right now. And if you use the link in the description or QR code on the screen now, you get 100 free coins and unlimited lives for three hours. So why not dive in today and get those neurons firing? Right, on with the show. Human fascination with extraordinary loyalty from canines is not a new phenomenon limited to the time of printed news, viral videos, and internet listicles. Dogs were first domesticated over 20,000 years ago, so it's no surprise that the traits we value the most, like honesty, faithfulness, and loyalty, have become inextricably linked to our relationships with these critters. Cultural folk tales and mythology from around the world are littered with examples of hounds, both of the very good and, well, terrifying variety. But perhaps none as heartbreakingly loyal as in the legend of Gilert. According to legend, the 13th century Welsh Prince Llewellyn the Great was a prolific hunter who kept many dogs. His favourite was a hound named Gilert, gifted to him by the English King John. One day, Llewellyn summoned his dogs to hunt, but was surprised when Gellert failed to appear. When the prince returned from the hunt, Gellert ran to greet him, bounding up and down in apparent pride and joy. The dog's muzzle was covered in blood, and Llewellyn had a terrifying thought. Was it possible his favourite pet had killed his infant son? The prince rushed to the nursery and discovered the baby's crib overturned. The walls and the floor splattered red. Mad with grief, Llewellyn unsheathed his hunting knife and plunged it into Gellert's heart. The hound let out an agonised howl which was answered immediately by the cry of a child. Beneath the upturned cradle, Llewellyn found his son. Beside him lay a massive, fearsome wolf, dead. Gellert had saved his child. Flooded with remorse, Llewellyn gave his hound a burial ceremony outside the castle walls so that all who may pass could see the grave of the faithful dog. The prince was so distraught by his hasty actions and so moved by the unwavering loyalty of his canine companion that he never smiled again. Gellert was immortalised in the villager's name, Bed Gellert, which translates to Gellert's grave. Centuries later, the grave site of the brave canine is still visited by thousands of people each year. And though the truth of the legend has been questioned, the facts matter much less than the sentiment that remains. The heart-wrenching story allows us to notice and honour the loyalty of all dogs, especially those who exceed the level of devotion seen even in human relationships. One such dog is known fondly as Greyfriars Bobby. In 1850, an out-of-work gardener named John Gray joined the Edinburgh police as a night watchman. To keep him company on the long, cold nights, he took along a Skye Terrier, whom he named Bobby. The pair 
became a familiar, comforting sight on the snowy cobblestone streets of Edinburgh. When John Gray died of tuberculosis in 1858, Bobby refused to part ways with his night watch partner, becoming a permanent resident of the Greyfriars Kirkyard, where John was buried. The groundskeeper of Greyfriars attempted many times to evict the faithful pup, but eventually gave up and built a shelter for Bobby next to John Gray's grave. News of the loyal mourner spread throughout the city, and before long, crowds gathered each day at the Kirkyard to see Bobby. The terrier left only once a day for a meal at a local coffee house he had frequented with John. When a bylaw passed in 1867 that required all dogs in Edinburgh to be licensed, the Lord Provost personally paid Bobby's license fee and presented him with a brass collar bearing the name Greyfriars Bobby. For 14 years, Bobby kept constant watch over John Gray's grave before joining him in death in 1872. Bobby was buried in Greyfriars just yards away from his beloved human, and a statue of the Loyal Terrier was erected across from the kirkyard. Today, the pub beside the statue is named Greyfriars Bobby, and both the statue and kirkyard remain popular with locals and tourists alike. Those who pause to read the red headstone at Bobby's grave no doubt agree with the words inscribed there. Let his loyalty and devotion be a lesson to us all. 2023 marks 100 years since the birth of another faithful hound, Hachiko. In the bustling heart of Tokyo, amidst the ebb and flow of humanity, one story emerges like a beacon of unwavering devotion. The legendary tale of a faithful dog who turned a train station into a monument of loyalty and love. In 1924, a renowned agricultural professor and lifelong dog lover named Hidesaburo Ueno welcomed his new puppy to the Shibuya district after a grueling 20-hour train journey across the country. Ueno nursed the ailing Akita back to health over the next six months and named him Hachi, or eight, which is considered a lucky number in Japan. Hachi, along with Ueno's two other canine companions, accompanied their human to the Shibuya train station each morning and waited there for his return in the evening. But on May the 21st, 1925, Ueno died of a cerebral hemorrhage and never came home. At Ueno's wake, Hachi crawled beneath the coffin and refused to move for hours. Following the funeral, the distraught dog was shuffled between several families throughout Tokyo, but always found his way back to Shibuya. Eventually, he settled in with Ueno's former gardener, who lived near the train station. Rain or shine, Hachi returned to Shibuya station each evening, looking carefully at each passenger who passed through the ticket gate, as if searching for Ueno. Initially, station employees saw him as a nuisance and doused Hatchie with water. Little boys hit him and passing commuters issued irritated kicks in his direction. Still, he returned and endured the abuse for years, hoping to be reunited with Ueno. Then, in 1932, a Tokyo newspaper wrote a story about the loyal dog and Japan fell in love. Food donations poured into the station and visitors traveled from miles away to see Hachi. A statue was erected at Shibuya Station in his honor, and the honorific Ko was added to the end of Hachi's name. When he died in 1935, the news of Hachiko's passing covered front pages across the country. An annual memorial service is held in his honor, and more than 10 million yen was raised for a new statue of Ueno and his best friend reunited at last. Though it has been nearly a century since Hachiko last watched his beloved human board a train, people around the world continue to celebrate the unconditional devoted love of a single Akita. Hachiko's faithful commute to Shibuya Station each day is remarkable, but a lesser known story of determined loyalty may be the longest walk a dog has ever taken. 
In February 1924, Mr. and Mrs. Frank Brazier opened the door to their Silverton, Oregon home to find a dog waiting for them. The mangy, emaciated hound was no stranger to the Braziers, but they never expected to see him again. The two-year-old Scots Collie mix they named Bobby had disappeared during a road trip in Indiana six months before. And based on his paws, worn nearly to the bone, the Braziers could only surmise he had walked almost the entire length of the United States to reunite with them. After being published in the Silverton Appeal, the story of Bobby the Wonder Dog spread across the country and inspired hundreds of people to write to the amazing dog and his owners. Accounts of Bobby's sightings began piling up and the Oregon Humane Society launched an investigation that confirmed Bobby had traveled nearly 3,000 miles in the dead of winter to return home. The Humane Society concluded that after being separated from the Braziers during a dogfight, Bobby followed their scent west along the trail of the service stations the family had visited during their trip. Bobby's heroics were rewarded with medals, keys to cities, and a jewel-studded harness and collar. Over 40,000 people came to see him at the Portland Home Show, where he was presented with a dog-sized bungalow. When he died in 1927, Bobby was buried with honors at the Oregon Humane Society Pet Cemetery after Portland Mayor George Baker delivered the eulogy. A week later, German Shepherd film star Rin Tin Tin visited his grave to lay a wreath. Today, Bobby the Wonder Dog is still celebrated annually in a children's dog parade and is the star of many public murals throughout Silverton. It's a fitting tribute to such a remarkable pet. In the often harrowing tapestry of history, these loyal companions have etched their paw prints onto the hearts of humanity, forever embodying the unbreakable bond between dogs and those who love them. Gellert's valiant sacrifice, Greyfriars Bobby's enduring devotion, Hachiko's daily wait for a love that transcended even mortality, and Bobby the Wonder Dog's incredible journey back to his beloved family. All these stories are a testament to the extraordinary connection that has woven its way through history. More than just very good boys, these dogs are perhaps the best evidence we have of true loyalty. Thank you for watching. Something a bit different and a little lighter than usual. If you'd like more stories like this, or if you know even more notable pooches, let us know in the comments. Also, I'd like to thank this episode's sponsor, Toon Blast. Don't forget, you can download this game using the link in the description or by scanning the QR code on screen to get three hours of unlimited lives and 100 free coins. Given the subject of today's episode, we've also set this video as a fundraiser for an animal charity and we'll be using some of the money from the sponsorship to kick it off. Right then, take care and I'll see you next time with another story to make you say, well, I never. Or for our four-legged friends, both past and present, woof.